Salting the earth, or sowing with salt, is the ritual of spreading salt on conquered cities to symbolize a curse on their re-inhabitation. It originated as a symbolic practice in the ancient Near East and became a well-established folkloric motif in the Middle Ages. Contrary to popular belief, using salt in this way would not have been a practical method of rendering an area unfit for crop production due to the very large quantity of salt required. <laughs> Destroying cities The custom of purifying or consecrating a destroyed city with salt and cursing anyone who dared to rebuild it was widespread in the ancient Near East, but historical accounts are unclear as to what the sowing of salt meant in that process. Various Hittite and Assyrian texts speak of ceremonially strewing salt, minerals, or plants, weeds, cress or Kadimu, which are associated with salt and desolation over destroyed cities, including Hattusa, Taidu, Arina, Hunusa, Iridu, and Susa. The Book of Judges 945 says that Abimelech, the judge of the Israelites, sowed his own capital, Shechem, with salt, c. 1050 BC, after quelling a revolt against him. This may have been part of a harem ritual see salt in the Bible. Starting in the 19th century, various texts claim that the Roman general Scipio Emilianus Africanus plowed over and sowed the city of Carthage with salt after defeating it in the Third Punic War 146 BC, sacking it, and enslaving the survivors. Though ancient sources do mention symbolically drawing a plough over various cities, and salting them, none mention Carthage in particular. The Carthage story is a later invention, probably modelled on the story of Shechem, when Pope Boniface VIII destroyed Palestrina in 1299, he ordered that it be ploughed, following the old example of Carthage in Africa, and also salted. I have run the plough over it, like the ancient Carthage of Africa, and I have had salt sown upon it." The text is not clear as to whether he thought Carthage was salted. Later accounts of other saltings in the destructions of medieval Italian cities are now rejected as unhistorical. Padua by Attila, 452, perhaps in a parallel between Attila and the ancient Assyrians, Milan by Frederick Barbarossa, 1162, and Semifont by the Florentines, 1202. The English epic poem Siege of Jerusalem, c. 1370, recounts that Titus commanded the sowing of salt on the temple, but this episode is not found in Josephus. <laughs> Punishing traitors In Spain and the Spanish Empire, salt was poured onto the land owned by a convicted traitor often one who was executed and their head placed on a picota, or pike, afterwards after their house was demolished. This was done in Portugal as well. The last known event of this sort was the destruction of the Duke of Aveiro's palace in Lisbon in 1759, due to his participation in the Tavora affair a conspiracy against King Joseph I of Portugal. His palace was demolished and his land was salted. A stone memorial now perpetuates the memory of the shame of the Duke, where it is written, in this place were put to the ground and salted the houses of José Mascarenhas, stripped of the honours of Duke de Aveiro and others. Put to justice as one of the leaders of the most barbarous and execrable upheaval that was committed against the most royal and sacred person of the Lord Joseph I. In this infamous land nothing may be built for all time. 
In the Portuguese colony of Brazil, the leader of the Inconfidencia Minera, Tiradentes, was sentenced to death and his house was "...raised and salted, so that never again be built up on the floor and even the floor will rise up a standard by which the memory is preserved preserving the infamy of this heinous offender." He suffered further indignities, being hanged and quartered, his body parts carried to various parts of the country where his fellow revolutionaries had met, and his children deprived of their property and honor. <inaudible> Legends An ancient legend says that Odysseus feigned madness by yoking a horse and an ox to his plough and sowing salt. <inaudible> See also Soil salinity Salted bomb Salt of the earth a metaphor that is part of a discourse on salt and light. Topic <laughs> Footnotes and References Topic <laughs> <laughs> Bibliography Gevertz, Stanley Gevertz, 1963. Jericho and Shechem: A Religio-Literary Aspect of City Destruction. Vetus Testamentum, 13, FASC, 1, 52 to 62. JSTOR 1,516,752. Ridley, R.T. 1986. To be taken with a pinch of salt, the destruction of Carthage. Classical Philology. 81, 2, 140 to 146. DOI 10.1086/366,972. JSTOR 269786 Stevens, Susan T. 1988. A Legend of the Destruction of Carthage. Classical Philology. 83, 1, 39-41. DOI, 10.1086, 367,078. JSTOR 269635 Visona, Paolo 1988. On the Destruction of Carthage Again. Classical Philology. 83, 1, 41-42. DOI, 10.1086, 367079. JSTOR 269636 Warmington, B.H. 1988. The Destruction of Carthage, a Retractatio. Classical Philology. 83 308-310. DOI 10.1086 367123 JSTOR 269510